All right, turn one of a new game. Playing against Fluffy again. You guys remember the uh, Babylon Rome game where I was Babylon? That was this opponent. I think Fluffy is one of the community lead members of the Old World Discord too. Does a lot with them. Um, semi, semi employed there now, I think. That's how that works or volunteering for them or some version of that. But anyways, has a million games. It's been super good about helping me learn the game. But here we are. New start. Opponent has chosen Rome. The only restrictions in this game are we banned inquiries, which is a pretty good start for Rome, I think. Since Rome's big weakness is they do not have a sage family. Otherwise, they're a very nasty sieve. Picked up an intelligent judge. It's a pretty good start. Since that will be essentially plus three to his science if he equips that. This is right after the patch that introduced garrisons in the starting city, no matter your faction. So, um, city spawn will have a garrison. Um, this is no tech start. So I would be tempted to just drop Persia with the two horses that I could get in my borders and immediately upgrade for extra orders, but I can't, I won't have the tech for that. So instead, I think I would like the other, he's taken Rome, there's two landowner sieves, it's Egypt and Rome. And I think here, the start really does push you towards that. I think I get pushed towards the start too early for my liking, too often for my liking perhaps, but um, harden this city with two wheat resources. The early wheat is early culture. Early culture gets you to your unique unit. Your unique unit requires horses. There's horses in your capital for this. It's a nice mix of early growth followed by mid-game military, which is kind of what you want if you're not spamming inquiries. So here I'll play Egypt. We'll settle here as opposed to there. Do we? I guess that's a good question. What do we gain from doing it like this? Actually, almost nothing. Probably shouldn't move then. Could move down to get the horses, but I don't want to move away from that. Currently, we can buy that with a single purchase. So let's settle here. There's our leader. Humble judge. Don't think that changes my plan of landowners. All right, figure out tech in a second. Where did all my stuff spawn? Worker here, garrison here. It's okay tile for a garrison. Where are we on the map? 14, 19. So bottom of the map is 10, 15 tiles that way. And the left side of the map is 10 tiles that way. So our opponent's to the east somewhere, probably north and east, but not guaranteed. Can't tell if there's an opening through that or not. We can see mountains there, mountains here. There might be an opening there, it might not. So ideally our scout probably heads southeast here. There's culture over there for rushing, if we want to harvest that. There's a second growth tile there. Can we get this going this turn? We start with zero of all resources. So we could go See, this is pretty good though. There's a chop for half of it. Could also move to here and harvest. The 50 probably, but not certainly gets us 10 wood. It's 40 for 10 wood. So we could start that this turn. The addition of the governor makes this a little bit appealing. Our stats aren't great and we would like to be on a military unit, but maybe we wait. So it'd be two, that's immediate two growth, right? Which is gonna change the timing on this. By how much? Full year right off the bat. Really hard to pass that up. And this and the free chop. Be there, would be two, do it would be one. It's too many to get there. So it's probably chop. 
move, start the farm. One order remains. I think it'd be useful. What if we instead gone here instead of there? What if we gone there? What's the upside? We don't waste the scout movement. Is that better? So let's look at this. This is one order remain and we have our thing going. What if we had gone here? So it's one, two to chop to go back four to start so it costs us one more order the scout doesn't have to stop there which gives us a couple extra tiles next turn we'll be down gold but we generate gold i don't hate it honestly also resets the timer on that so we would buy this Cost is 40. Start there. Is that better? So the other thing we could have done with one move it's taken we, we want to buy this although we, we don't want to buy it till the worker is available we'd like to probably buy that with the military unit we're not going to have we're going to have money though we're generating money so buying it later is going to be easier yeah i think that's the preferred i'm not sure about between those two so there it's one two the chop is free here it's one two but the thing is not free it's still I'm going to want to harvest that. I'd rather move further. I think this is okay. We'll leave it like that and then uh, send it back. Wow, choose our tech. So a couple things that stick out. First of all, what happened with the wonders? Pyramids are here. We are Egypt. We probably want the pyramids. We need to start that relatively soon to make that happen. Pyramids are 600. Grabbing stone cutting will help unlock that. The problem with grabbing stone cutting is it delays labor force. Or husbandry, both of which are pretty good on this start. Especially the labor force is always good early. We are Egypt too. We'll get a second scout. I think I can't avoid going. Um, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Can't go iron working. Wow. Not one of my starting techs. I feel like it's so critical too because the first thing you want to do when you settle your next city, it's like basically worker worker. It's like settler, worker, worker, settler, new city builds military unit. Or sometimes even you skip the first worker from the second city and build a military unit. And I'm not going to be able to do that. I, can't, I literally cannot build a military unit right now. I can build a militia. So stone working technically enables... No, it doesn't enable slingers. Trapping enables slingers. I really don't want trapping here, though. The two that I'm interested in, if I have to choose between these, which I, it's kind of bullshit... Stone cutting and divination. Oh. Ouch. Ah. This has a no value besides a military unit. All 
All right, I guess I'm opening stone cutting. All right, send it back. All right, turn two. All right, we added our leader as governor. met the Gauls. Do I wish to move this military unit down that way? This is the way I want to settle. It's another spot. I probably do. I kind of wanted to buy that tile as well. Kind of want to harvest that as well. What's the leader we have? We do have a um, a hero. Let's go here and add a general. And call it a year. All right, turn three. Only seven actions. A goody hut, nice. 220 stone, seems really nice right about now. And that's a crazy good site for growing again. Has five sorghum or four sorghum and a wheat. All right, we want to move here and attack. And we're what now? Pretty close to that wonder. Not gonna have the civics, sadly. Okay, uh, let's send it back. Okay, uh, turn four. Marriage proposal. It's between these two. This guy is the leader of our family, but, and gives wood, but is superstitious, which is just not doable in the beginning. The other guy is our general. Yeah, we'll take that already attached, already paid for him, and gaining experience every turn seems pretty good. Influence isn't good enough till we get one more trait together. Um, two ways I could play this. This is going to be another um, state family city. So that's happening. Unless there's something immediately here. I'm not going to harvest those camels. Let's look through there. Gauls. Holy shit, that's another one. Kind of want to go there and attack. Because then the next one that's... Well, we're going to take the city next turn. I guess it doesn't matter. Just the return damage. Two versus... If we went there, how much return damage is it? One and a half. Is that enough to justify that many actions? I doubt it. And what are we doing with this worker? We could start the iron mine. That tends to be the most value. We could also come over here and start building farms for that new location, which would be really good too. So that's the quickest way to get to it. What if we didn't go the quickest way? One, one chop, two, chop, three, start. Seems too good to pass up. All right. 
Seller out in one. Let's send it back. Okay, turn five. Let's clear the camp. Warrior in a discontent level in Wasat. Going from discontent zero to discontent one. Seems very good to me. All right, six actions left. The warrior actually spawns here, which is awesome. Still two attacks to kill it next turn, which is kind of a scam. I guess we don't have to take that attack then. We could potentially promote it. Like with the general, zero generals available and we don't have the money. So, okay, take that attack. All right, we've got our settler. Get in range there. Do we want this city right here? Oh, look at that. Yeah, we do. Let's go there. Let's move this unit. Numidians. Hundred and fifty iron. Or is it a goodie hut too? It is. I think we take the iron. So I couldn't settle this this turn, which is why I only moved it part of the way, and I wanted to have two actions with the scout, so the first move didn't leave me directly next to a bunch of guys who are going to attack me. I'm going to get attacked anyways because I'm going to go for the goodie hut, but here if we get attacked by the Numidians, we probably lose the scout. So I think we take the iron. Move to there. To legitimacy. And either acquire iron working. 150 civics. Or our husband has 40 opinion. Wow, actually really strong options. And what are we doing here? And one other settler. So I guess we just queue that up. Well, second warrior for free this turn was huge. The fact that this city, because of that goodie hut, grabs all of that means we're going there and then we're going to make it the same family that we already have, the landowner family. We don't need more standing with these guys right now, it's not helpful. Plus 40 for 80 years is a long ass plus 40. I don't know if it decays or it falls off. Like I don't know if it's actually plus 40 for 80 years or if it's plus 40 decaying one per turn or two per turn at that rate. Or half, a, I guess it'd be half a turn, half per turn. So the advantage here is then we could influence our husband next turn and these stats would count for 50% more. As courtier, as consort, these are counting right now for 42, so we get another 21 military points per turn. But it's not science, 
And the military points are a fifth of an order is how to think of that, which isn't that much. Civics now. It's a lot compared to our income, but it's not a lot of civics and a tech. And a tech that really is one of the critical techs right now. It doesn't help us at the moment because we're not going to want to build a warrior. But our tech is 15 a turn, and these are 80. I think it's just the tech. Okay. All right, we're close. Let's go ahead and send it back. All right, turn six. So close. All right, let's kill. Let's settle. Worker. Well, let's go scouting. I'd like to influence here, right? Does it matter for influencing? It didn't in the end. Because promotion is just going to be one turn. Okay. Well, we're peaceful with these ones. So I guess we'll keep going east. All right. Should I ever just be a settler? No, right? Okay. Well, let's send it back. All right. Turn seven. Tech event and produce 400 stone. Control five military units. Control 10 pop. I mean, that's a fairly easy one as we settle, right? Now, our cities don't grow is the thing, since as we are generating settlers and workers. Are we too early for labor force? What would we get instead? Is a... Administration in this city is going to be a disgusting amount of growth. <laughs> Admin's not being offered. Uh, okay. It does feel a bit too early. Pretty young. I think armies is the safest bet. I guess we're going to go fight the Gauls. Seven years. It's nowhere near enough. It's 
go there and heal. This is coming back, huh? It's kind of annoying. I can settle it in less than 10 years, but still. A lot of information there. Do we want to do anything? Influence action comes to mind. Trade military points for civics right now. She kind of liked that idea. Maybe then we take labor force. Need to move this this turn. It does feel like next turn, if we remind ourselves, we can hold court. All right, let's end the year.